Everyone thinks rap legend Snoop Dogg is a great guy, but is it all an illusion? I was like, not Snoop. I was at the forefront, the most violent record label in the world. Snoop Dogg and Tupac lived under the control of rap's most violent kingpin, Suge Knight. Suge demanded loyalty. I had to step out of that situation. Shapur was shot four times, and it's hard to find Suge Knight. The type of relationship you only get that once in a lifetime. I have actual remorse. You were the only person that stood up to Suge Knight. The last time I saw him, he was holding on to his last breath. I got off the radio station with Angie Martinez. She asked me on the air, how do you feel about Puffy and Biggie? And I said what I felt. They're my homeboys. I love them. When I got back to the hotel, it was a whole nother atmosphere. So when we got on the plane to go back to L.A. the next day, Suge didn't let none of my security ride with me. I had to ride with him, his homies, and Pac. I'm like, what's up, Pac? And they do me like this. So I walked to the back of the plane, give me a blanket, grab me a knife and a fork. The blanket over my nose right here and ride like this the whole flight. Snoop was desperate to feel safe, but he'd been trapped in a life of violence and fear for years. At 12 years old, you join a gang. If you're a young black guy growing up at that time, drugs and gangs were as much a part of your life as stoplights and street signs. Were you ever afraid? I was always scared. A lot of times I got shot at, I had a gun in my possession and could have shot back, but I was too scared because I was so concerned with my life. It got to a point to where my mother kicked me out because she felt like I was bringing too much drama to her house. I had just turned 17. Jesus, and what do you do? It's not like you got somewhere to go. Where did you go? When Snoop met hip-hop CEO Suge Knight, he thought he'd finally found a way out. He was so honest, so real, so true, and so passionate about his orders, giving us direction, coaching us. And when Snoop bonded with rapper Tupac, it seemed like he'd found the family he always wanted. Fell in love with that Me and him started hanging out, building a brotherhood with him. We represent both sides of the gang, the calm one and the relentless one. So when actually I spoke to Suge and was like, we need to get him with us because he will make us better. And he gonna push me. We need his spirit here. But as Snoop and Tupac grew closer, there was one person who tried to warn them about Suge. 